Hi guys, I'm Melanie Leonello from Australia and today in this beautiful 250 year old Tuscan villa I'm making one of the most quintessential Australian recipes, lamingtons. I'm super excited to show you how to make them, so let's go. Okay, so now that we're ready to make our lamingtons, let's first start with the sugar. Then we're going to add about half a cup of Batali extra virgin olive oil originale. So then all you're going to do is just mix it up. Then we're just going to add our eggs in. So just three eggs in total, and then you're just going to mix those in. We'll add a little bit of vanilla. We'll just add half a cup of milk. All right, so once that's mixed, we're just gonna add our flour. We're not going to mix it just a little bit, we're gonna mix it in between. So not as much as like a pizza dough, but not as much as a scone. You just wanna line your cake pan with a little bit of butter. Pour your cake batter in. And then we'll just pop it in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. So, about one centimetre from the edge, you just want to cut that off. The size of the lamington is really up to you. I would recommend slicing it in half, then again, and slicing that in half again. And we'll bring in our icing sugar. So this is just plain powdered sugar. So we're going to add a little bit of cocoa powder. So I'm just going to add a little bit of hot water as well. And then we're just going to add some Batali extra virgin olive oil. So I recommend starting with a little bit of olive oil and slowly adding more as you need it. All right, so once you've got your icing beautiful and glossy and very runny, so we can easily dump our cake into that. And then put it straight into the coconut. So just cover it in the coconut. If your fingers get a little bit chocolatey, it's not a problem. So once you've got your cake, that's how a lamington is supposed to look once it's all finished. Now while these lamingtons are soaking all their chocolatey goodness in, I'm gonna take the end bit, dip it in some chocolate, and go and sit out and enjoy my espresso.